So uh, in the next several slides, and we are going to talk about how to classify these three types of observational studies, cohort studies, case control studies, and cross-sectional studies. And these studies are actually further classified into five categories, uh, prospective cohort study, retrospective cohort study, cross-sectional cross -sectional study, retrospective case control study, and prospective case control studies. A classification of study design involves two factors to consider. And there are actually many epidemiology textbooks uh, say slightly different definitions, class, uh, factors, but uh, after 20 years of experience in this field, I think this way, this is the most easiest and uh, cleanest way to understand the difference uh, between uh, study designs. So these two factors uh, involve timing of data collection and data sampling method. So let's start with the timing of data collection. Timing of, by knowing timing of data collections, and you can differentiate re retrospective versus prospective versus cross-sectional. Okay. And uh, so you imagine uh, this being a researcher. Okay. So I am a researcher here. Okay. So I now got uh, grant money from a government. So I'm about to study, uh, start my study. Okay. So when I am starting a study, okay, I look this way. Okay. I look in the future. Okay. And then uh, data are not really collected yet, but in the future from today, I am going to collect this data. So uh, for example, the, the, if you are studying whether the aspirin influence cardiovascular related death and the patient who are enrolled in this study does not exist yet. So uh, tomorrow you wait and see who comes to your clinic and then you enroll these patients. Okay and then day after tomorrow you do the same thing and then you continue this next let's say five years okay, until the study end. So you are prospectively collecting data. So this defines uh, world perspective. Okay? And on the other hand, uh, retrospective. Okay? So you got this money right now, and then you're about to start your research. Okay? And data actually exists somewhere already. It could be in the medical record, paper form or electric form, but it's already existed somewhere. And then you as a researcher, and then you uh, start digging those information and then collect the data which already uh, exists somewhere in the past. So this defines the word retrospective. Okay? And the, so what is a cross-sectional? Cross-sectional study is like you taking a snapshot of what happening right now. So cross-sectional is within the current time frame. Okay? So you are observing what happening right now. Okay? Who is using aspirin and who have a cardiovascular disease. And, okay. and so one time shots of data collection. There is no follow-up prospectively or retrospectively. And this classifies a cross-sectional study.